Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video about how you can use Shopify's command line interface tool to help you uh, develop your theme. And so this will include uh, previewing changes you make to your theme locally before pushing to them to your live theme, uh, as well as um, also having a hot reload feature. And that way you don't have to continuously manually refresh your site while you're coding changes to your site. So if you haven't done this already, this is really going to speed up your workflow. Um, tremendously and a prerequisite for this is that you have already integrated your theme with github so if you haven't done that I do have a video of how to do that it doesn't take that long and it's not that difficult uh, I'll link the video now but without further ado let's get started alright guys so here you can see that I'm on the uh, Shopify CLI installation instructions page now obviously to use Shopify CLI you're gonna have to have it installed on your machine um, the two pieces of technology that you also need uh, that are requirements for Shopify CLI is Ruby and Git is the other one. So if you have both of these installed, great. If you don't, um, just go on there, just type in install Ruby, install Git, and you'll find either tutorials or, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just download them and click through the setup. So once we've installed that, we want to go ahead and navigate to the parent directory of whatever Shopify theme we're actually interested in previewing. And you can use, do this in whatever terminal tool you use. I'm just gonna do it in the built-in terminal in VS Code here. So um, you can make sure that gem uh, Ruby is installed by typing gem dash dash version, and you'll see that it gives you back a version number. Uh, these commands might be slightly different on Mac, just keep that in mind. Um, now, uh, what we want to do is gem install, and this will be the same on Mac, gem install Shopify-CLI, and we hit enter there, and it's going to uh, basically download and install Shopify CLI for us, and it'll tell us when it's done. So I'm going to come back once that's finished. So once that is installed, uh, you'll see it'll tell you one gem installed here, and uh, we can make sure that it's installed by typing in Shopify version here and it'll give us a version number back. So this is the latest version at the time of me recording this. Um, you can see a list of all the commands you can type in here by typing in Shopify help, and it's gonna give you this huge list. Let me go ahead and expand this terminal window here, and um, let me type that again really quickly, and you're gonna see all these commands that pop up. So uh, the command that we're interested in here is this Shopify theme command. Um, so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're actually in the directory of the theme that we want to preview and um, first we need to log into the store so we're gonna type in first I'm gonna log out of my store just because um, you guys aren't gonna be logged in if you just downloaded the uh, command line tool so now I'm gonna Shopify login dash s and then my store name mine is shopcode 101.myshopify.com Okay, so when you run this command, you'll notice it takes you to an authentication window. Uh, just log in to whatever Shopify account is associated with the store. And if you have a partner organization, make sure that it's the correct partner organization. Okay, so now I'm logged into the store here and you can see that uh, if I go ahead and type Shopify theme serve. So Shopify is gonna go ahead and bundle up all my files here and generate minified CSS and JavaScript files and all that good stuff and um, I'm going to basically send those files to them and they're gonna provide me with a link for local development um, once they have received those files. So it's syncing the theme and you can see that it's provided me with this URL here, uh, 127 whatever. Um, so if I go ahead and control click this, you'll notice it's gonna take me to my site. So you can see that now I'm on my site and um, the really cool thing about this is if I go ahead and do this, uh, I'll show you what is cool about this. So uh, if I go ahead and find the body tag here and open up an H1 tag and hit test here, as soon as I save, you'll notice that this refreshes here. So there's a hot reload feature that this comes built in with. And it takes a little bit to refresh and it does a full page refresh, unfortunately. It's not re like React where it will just update the element, but um, you can see that now this H1 tag, this test is here, right? And that's because, you know, I put it at the top of my body 
uh, tag on my theme.liquid. So, you know, every page I go into, like if I go to one of my products or whatnot, you'll see that this test URL should be here. Um, so anyways, so that's cool. So let's go back to here. Um, so you'll notice that um, it gives you three links. So this link is the one that you're probably gonna be using most um, if you're doing theme development. If you're customizing different settings in your theme editor, um, you're gonna be using this one. And after you've done that, just make sure you use the theme pull command and that will integrate the changes into the files. And that way when you push it back to Git uh, or GitHub, th then um, those changes will actually sync to your theme. And this share this theme preview, that's if you wanted to, you know, host the theme, like you're doing some design or whatever, and you know, maybe you're working with someone and you want them to check it out, um, make sure you still have the server running, but you can go ahead and send them this preview theme ID. Um, once you're finished, you know, and uh, you want to close the, the server or whatever, you can just press control C and that will stop the server. All right guys, so that's how you use Shopify CLI to preview local changes in real time. Um, if you like this video, go ahead, leave a like. Uh, if you have any questions concerning Shopify CLI or how uh, anything in this video, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And um, other than that, you know, if you're new to my channel, I generally just post content here that is uh, helpful for new either developers or Shopify store owners um, to either code their site or, you know, I do app reviews as well um, and whatnot. So go ahead and subscribe if that interests you and I'll see you in the next video guys.